Faith. Faith to me is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. I have found an experience and I also teach and train in the over 20 plus industries that I've been to in the national brands it is that I coach across the country in different markets. With my coaching corporate clients that I coach the groups of corporate coaching clients it is that I have as well as the individual one-on-one -on -one clients is that I have. I talk about faith in terms of at least two things and there's a multitude of more but these are the things it is that I talk about for faith that we are either you, me, and we operating on this realm of faith, using faith as our filter, or we are operating in the aspect, in the realm of fear. And fear is loud, obnoxious. It catches our attention into what could be what might happen actually all of the nightmares it is in terms of the absolute worst outcomes and possibilities instead of using faith and using that as our filter that's how we see life leadership business sports competition and relationships through the spectrum of now fear which is i mean it's natural it's natural, right, to have this mechanism that has been put within us, designed and programmed within us to make sure that we don't put ourselves in a detrimental position. Either to kill ourselves physically, that's why walking up on the edge of when we're in Yosemite and we're walking in places and cliffs and hiking, whether it's down in Torrey Pines when we're hiking down there, um, in the nature reserve or we're at Yosemite um, some of these hikes there's edges and there's streams fast running water where fear tells us be careful watch out so that is the initial reaction for everyone people think that fear less means to not have any fear at all to me in terms of what I've experienced and having the courage, whether that was when I was in elementary school and I was chosen to be the keynote speaker in our graduation for elementary school or making my way into the graduation ceremony when I was a senior in high school and then walking out on stage and stuff got real and then responding after fear the negativity of our own self-doubt and the sabotaging, the self-sabotage of our negative thoughts, right? We all get these things, is now responding in faith. Fearless does not mean no fear. It means in spite of the fear, despite the fear, despite the negative outcomes, despite the circumstances that may come and the negative circumstances, the failure, the setbacks, the struggle, the embarrassment that may come because it's going to come from having or making this choice, this decision to take this route, this avenue and travel this direction. It's not being fearless and having no fear. It's in spite of that, that we continue to move forward. So as the why is very important and critical and integral in what it is that we do individually, that we are able to do those things for ourselves. But now plugging into faith, plugging into believing in ourselves in terms of self-belief, it's not not having fear, but feeling that innate program fear that has been designed within us in our DNA to make sure that we don't kill ourselves or put ourselves in harm's way, that now our response is according to our faith. Our response is now according to our goals. Our response after the initial fear, because we're talking about faith, after the initial innate natural reaction of fear, that now we also respond according to our dreams according to our aspirations, 
according to the various destinations to jump and start the journey to get going so now the why always fuels us in terms of the purpose but allow the faith to also feel not just what you believe either through your faith or through my faith i've been destined i've been anointed that now my faith not only the purpose but you combine your individual talents and purpose that you have mastered and start to really nurture your skill set become the master of your skill set you put that together with faith wow for me it has been amazing and i'm not trying to downplay it or upplay the various experiences that i and my family the teams that i have been a part of the community projects through faith not operating on fear but operating on the realm and the spectrum the possibilities and the hope of faith for faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see but why wouldn't we for fear is an acronym of false evidence appearing real you me and we we might not have the greatest imagination when we it is that we need it but fear can paint us our own self fear can really paint a picture that just makes us shake not want to move not want to progress not want to do not want to get out of bed fear can just hold us captive but not no i'm saying operate on faith operate on the possibilities operate that yes you probably are going to fail especially in the beginning you're probably going to struggle especially in the beginning but once you me and we get going in full faith forward towards our dreams hopes aspirations the destiny that awaits us that's just one of the destinations of the multitude of even better destinations the outcomes of the things it is that i have been a part of in my life with my family and i in our community with our community work in speaking in coaching one-on-one -on -one clients in coaching national corporations and brands across the country just by moving and going who me a football coach be somebody that can go in the business realm uh, and be able to bring value, life value to what it is that they do so that not only can they achieve in what it is that they do, but then grab the magic of life, which is fulfillment. And fulfillment along with fulfillment itself is this joy, peace, happiness, fulfillment, and love. And through faith, because I moved that way, believed in my purpose, but moved in faith believed in my skill set but moved in faith actions of faith because faith love success are nouns that work better as verbs because without action meaning moving in faith without action faith love success are just words and for me really i heard td jakes back in 2011 and I listened to this over and over for why it is created in the image and the likeness of he who created us that now I should move forward like that because our creator is creative and had put that in us. So this is what T.D. Jakes was saying that I listened to over and over and over again. He said, for he is the mighty God who stepped out on nothing and said, let there be something. And it became whatever he said because he is sovereign. He's absolutely in control. He totally reigns. He's omnipotent, all-powerful, omnipresent in all places, in all times. Omniscient, all-knowing, not guessing, not wondering, not figuring. God already knows the end from the beginning, the answer before the question, the subtotal before you, me, and we figure out the equation because he is God and he sits on the top of the circle of the earth with all power in his hands and nobody elected him and nobody can impeach him for he is God 
all by himself. And that is really where the source of my faith comes from. Because if he is with us, the God it is that I just described, then who can be against us? Fear not. And when you do fear because that is absolutely natural, then respond in faith and faith it. If you like this video, I would be blessed if you would smash that like button, comment and add some faith-based conversation at the bottom in the comments, and please subscribe to this channel. We in this community that I call Coach V's Village are all about two things, whether it's scripture, business approaches to life, communication, how to work effectively, whatever it may be, is all encompassing here at the Coach V Village on these two things. You, me, and we working to be our best and living our best life. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right here, it is your boy, Coach V. One love, mad respect. Live it. Peace. Billy, I'm the folk out there. I'm a two-year-old. They call me Coach V.